So The Limehouse Golem is a dark gothic crime thriller set amongst the pantomimes and music halls of Victorian London. So there's this Jack the Ripper sort of murderer on the loose and our Inspector Kildare is trying to figure out who this murderer is. But at the same time there's another trial going on where uh, a young musical star is accused of poisoning her husband and these two cases come interlinked. And um, yeah, help me out, Bill. That was That's great. About it. That, that was perfect. That was incredible. You both play music hall performers in this film. Do you think that if you'd lived in that time, you could have actually been one or not? Ah, I, it's a pretty tough life. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, Dan, my, like my character, he'd, he'd been doing it since like such a young age, and he, he was, he became an alcoholic, and by the end of his life, although he was one of the most successful comics of his time put himself into a mental asylum, checked himself in. So I think it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily the easiest life, but I'm sure maybe we would have been drawn towards the stage. Well, Better than shoveling. It's not glamorous as well. They're in such dire conditions. They're, they are, they're, they're, they're not acclaimed performers like you see. Now they are clowns. What was the most fun or unexpected thing about doing a period piece? Well, we did catch the end of a hurricane at one point. Yeah. It was called Hurricane Katie, and the electricians had to throw their bodies over the lamp so they wouldn't blow away, and the green screen blew away, and the horses reared up, and the extras were drenched, and actors had to act with water up to their knees. And it probably looks great on the screen. That's what they always <laughs> say. Whenever you're in trouble, they say, it'll look great on the screen. Yeah. So that was a, a day to remember. Today is today. Cinema is forever. Yeah.